Hey guys, so in this video I want to talk to you about Pico Workers. Now this is a site that allows you to go ahead and carry out little micro tasks and get paid. Now it works in two ways. If you're a business owner or a vendor, you can post tasks on here and you can pay people to do very, very small tasks. Or if you're a more of a freelancer and you're looking for a way to earn a few pennies here and there, this is where you can come along and find little gigs that you can go ahead and carry out. So we're going to jump inside. I'm going to concentrate more on the freelancer side of this, talk to you about some of these types of gigs, talk to you about the pros and cons of these types of sites. I've seen many of these gigs that maybe aren't so good. And then we can talk about whether you actually can earn money on this site and maybe the countries it's mainly aimed at. So guys, just before we start, my name is Richard Darby. This is the School of Nomads. If you haven't been over to the channel before, please take the time to hit that subscribe and notification bell and I'll let you know whenever I produce new videos. And guys, if you're interested in learning how to build a business online, go ahead and check the link in the description below over to the School of Nomads. I've got some great free training there for you and it'll get you started straight away. So let's jump inside uh, Pico Workers. So here you see your dashboard. Now this is the workers dashboard. If I wanted to switch it to the employer, all I need to do is switch it over. And this is where I would actually post a job for people to come along and do. But I want to be a worker in this case. Go along and switch it to a worker. And this is the list of jobs. Now all you need to do very quickly is just say find my jobs here. And it's going to give you the most recent jobs. This is kind of the menu system here. It's going to give you the most recent, the highest paying, crypto verified accounts, or this TTR. Now, if I just go ahead and hit the most recent, this is going to show me all of the jobs that are very, very recently posted. Plus, you have whether it's an international or a starter type job, and you have this here, which is a, a satisfied task rating, which means once folks have taken this job, what kind of satisfaction rating have they given? It's a good indication of whether the person who's actually employing you is actually paying out. You also have this rate here. In this case, this is 35 cents. Um, so if we go ahead and look at this, we can figure out what we need to do for this 35 cents. You can go ahead and quick view the job here on the right hand side. Basically, this is going to give you a good description of what you need to do for the job. So in this case, they've excluded these countries in doing the actual job. Not sure why that would be, but they've done it in this case. There is a lock on the employee here. If I go to the next level, it's going to tell me who the employer is. Time to rate means how long the employer will take to actually rate whether you've done the job or not, and they actually want some proof. They've been a member for a year. They have a job ID here, and then what, then they have the expectations here. So in this case, I would need to go to this website here, morpha.com, and basically what this is is an affiliate link over to this site. Now, what I've noticed on a lot of these jobs is these are basically affiliate links that once you go ahead and join these sites, the folks that are posting these will get commissions they get commissions when you join and also commissions whenever you spend money inside the site so it's kind of a way that people are doing affiliate marketing on these types of sites so whenever you see this type of thing on the end of a web address basically that's an affiliate link now i'm an affiliate marketer nothing wrong with that it's just a different way to do it as long as whatever they're actually trying to sign up for is actually going to bring you some value, guys. If it's not, then I don't support this whatsoever. So basically what you have here is this is a obviously a crypto site and you can claim free crypto. You'll probably be logged in and claim the 100 tokens that pop up in the menu bar. You go to the, the settings. They want you to verify you. And then there's a verification procedure. And then he wants to have a screenshot of your verification and an email used to sign up. And basically that's going to allow him to collect whatever commissions he's going to get off this. So I just go ahead and look at this one for a start. And basically it's an affiliate link over to this crypto site. So that's just one example of the type of job that you can get asked to do. Now, if I just go over to the actual site itself, it's got very much the same information here, but there's also places that you can put your screenshot. You can actually add a comment here, an email address proof, and you can submit the proofs and they'll take a day to actually come back and verify whether you've joined and then pay you this 35 cents. Clearly, they're going to make money off this because they wouldn't give you 35 cents just to join unless they were going to make money on the back end. So that's just one example of the kind of jobs you can get. So look at this next one here, this marketing test visit. Now, this is only going to be three cents for your time that you're actually going to spend doing this task it's a seven days rate which means it's going to take seven days for them to come back to you and verify whether you've done it i just click on this again excluded countries bangladesh india sri lanka nepal pakistan 
Um, 485 out of 650 done, which means how many people have actually completed the task. Seven days to rate. And basically what they want you to do on this one is start clicking around websites. Let me just explain to you what this one is. Clear browsing history and cookies first. Go to any of the links below and click on the link. After going to the link, click on the website that, that came to fast. Obviously, I'm not sure what that means at the moment. I'll have a look. Then visit 10 pages. You must spend a minimum of 25 seconds on each page. If you do not visit a minimum of 10 pages, I will not pay you. Stay at least three minutes on the site. Click on one big ad and browse the ads site for one minute and visit two other pages inside the ad website. And then you have all of these different ways that you need to verify. So give me the post link of six, the sixth number post you visited, the last sentence of the 10th post, add URLs you clicked, and add second URL you clicked. So you can see that some of these, <laughs> they're not the easiest way to actually do tasks. But let's have a look at the website they're asking you to go ahead and visit here first. And you can see I've come over to some Google site here. Let's go and visit this and redirect this. And you're going to come onto this website. From obviously being from the UK, I've got no idea what any of this actually is. But basically, they're actually getting me through to this website. And I'm supposed to look at these various articles, click on these various links, and then verify it with this guy to make the three cents. So again, you can see some of these tasks are not the best. But if we want to go ahead and have a look at different types of tasks, I can just go to this menu up here. So I can pick a job level here. I'll pick start a job there. Then I can go to the category. And these are different types of jobs that you can get. So if I just come down to, let's say, video marketing and apply that. I can have a subcategory here that, you know, whether they want me to like a video, to comment, to subscribe to a channel. There is some tasks on here. You have a payment range on here that I can look at. So I can look at by payment range, how much, how much I actually want to be paid for a certain task. And then you have a location here. And then you have some employee stats that tell you whether jobs are actually being done by a lot of people, i.e. they're successful. These are good ways that you actually know whether people have actually said that it's a good task to do, basically. So go ahead and apply that. And I'll see that this YouTube subscribe and turn on notification bell. This guy is going to ask me to go ahead and do this. He's going to pay me four cents. I don't really like this, guys. You know I'm on YouTube, and I don't think, and it's against YouTube's policy to have artificial subscribers and people watching your video. So I don't really like these types of tasks. That's up to you guys. I'm not telling you morally what to do online. I'm just saying that this is against YouTube's terms and conditions, and I won't be surprised if these guys are banned. So again, as I come down to the bottom here, you could go ahead and put the YouTube username in here, the YouTube channel you subscribe with, and then there's proof when you submit, and they will go ahead and pay you that three cents. So there is people actually getting paid here. I can see that some of these tasks are a little bit laborious for the amount of money you're gonna get paid. Some of them are relatively quick. Three cents is not a lot of money at all, but you know, you just go ahead and find the guy's channel, find this guy's channel and subscribe would take you less than a minute if you wanted to go ahead and do that. This one is all about watching a YouTube video. So you would go to youtube.com, you would search for this video here, click on filter, then last hour or today, find a video with a thumbnail that they specified, and then watch three minutes of the video, and then you go ahead and put the proof in, and you get paid. Again, not really the best way from a YouTuber's perspective to actually get build a channel in, as far as I'm concerned, because I think that you're getting artificial views, so nobody really cares about what you're posting on the channel. But there you go. From our perspective, you'll get paid that five cents for doing that particular task. So you can see that people are getting paid on here. In fact, if I go to the actual pay payment table in here, there is a ranking table underneath your profile. And you see that some folks are making several thousand dollars, but this is over a very, very long period of time. When I look at this, 104,000 tasks, that would have taken him several years to make this amount of money uh, from Bulgaria. This person here from Dominican Republic has done 61,000 tasks, um, and then so on and so on. You can see down here that people are actually making money on this site. Now, what I do notice on when I look at some of these countries, the highest kind of placing countries are the countries that maybe people aren't paid as much as in countries like the UK or the USA. There is a certain type of folks that would be attracted towards sites like this to make a few pennies here and there, which is fine. This might be worth spending a little bit of time doing these types of very, very simple micro tasks 
and earning a few dollars here and there and supplementing your income. One interesting thing I always do is go over to Trustpilot. Now, Pico Workers actually has got quite a good rating on Trustpilot. It's 4.2 um, out of 3,667 reviews. And the interesting thing is I can't really see anywhere on Pick Workers where they're attracting people over to give these types of feedback. So, of course, you've got a few bad ones here. Some of them say they're miserable jobs. Probably people that are from slightly more affluent countries and don't want to spend that much, that much time trying to earn three cents on these types of sites. 75% of people are saying that this is actually a good site and do pay out. We're just talking about the payouts, guys. They do actually let you withdraw once you have $5 in your balance. Again, it's going to take you a few weeks to achieve by the looks of this, but you can redraw it. And there's a variety of ways you can redraw it. You can go to ATM, Litecoin, PayPal, Skrill, or Uphold. And you can actually go ahead and add a withdrawal method if you've got a different one, and they'll consider that. The other way you can actually earn on this is by their own affiliate program. Up here, you'll see there's an affiliate program where you can actually go ahead and recommend pick workers to other people don't worry guys the link i leave in the description below will not be an affiliate link i don't want to make money off you by going to this site but you can actually sign up other folks and now the rates are five percent on any purchase they make and five percent on any money they earn so you can have some residual income on here if you recommend your friends or your followers over to this site and they're actually going to go ahead and do the task. So overall, guys, what's my feelings on this? Well, basically, it's, it's very, very low money. You're not really going to make any kind of real income using sites like this. It is definitely not a full-time job. However, some of the countries that I showed you in the earnings table, I can see why they would want to come over to this site and just do very, very small tasks and earn a few dollars here and there. So I've got no real issue over it. Looking at the trust pilot ratings, it looks like there's not a sea of people saying that they don't pay out. So they are going to pay out and give you money once you get to that $5 threshold. I just don't think it may be as good for people in countries that are slightly more affluent, where it doesn't make sense to spend this much time on doing these types of tasks. When there's lots of other opportunities out there on the web to actually make money. So guys, I hope you find that useful. My name is Richard Darby. This is the School of Nomads. If you haven't been over to the channel before, don't forget to hit that subscribe and notification bell. And I'll let you know whenever I produce new videos. And guys, if you're serious and you're trying to find a way to earn money online, go ahead and hit the link in the description below over to the School of Nomads. I've got some great free training for you and we'll get you started straight away. Until next time, guys, take care.